Hello everyone. In today's video, we'll be going over how to import or export recipes from or into an external USB drive. For this project, I've set up some test data within the recipe database that we will be using for the demo. First, we will create an import export object. This object will allow the HMI to import and export recipe files that have been saved within an external storage device. The import SAS export object is located in the data SAS history tab. We will create a new object and set the type to recipe database and choose an existing recipe. Furthermore, I'll change the file name address to LW3, but please select a free memory location to avoid memory overlap and select the include file folder path button. LW3 will now hold the file name input when importing and exporting documents. The control address will be left at LW0. This is the memory location where command values will be used to import and export documents will be set. Next, we will create a file browser object. This object will allow us to view files within external storage and select a file that we can import into the recipe database. The file browser can be found within the object tab. Then we will change the memory address to the previously selected file name address LW3 in order to connect the file browser object to the import slash export object. After these changes, place the file browser object within the program. Next, we will create an entry box to input file names. To start, select an ASCII object. and change the number of words to 20. I'll set the memory address to LW3 so that we can type a file name into the import export file name address. Now we will need to create two command buttons for importing or exporting a recipe file. Start by selecting a set word object. The right address will be LW0 for me since that is the import slash export object control address. Then select object control command for a set style. Set the object type to import SAS export recipe database and set the command to import. Duplicate this object and change the command value on the second set word object to export. Now we have two buttons for importing and exporting a file. I will also make a delete all and add command button using the set word object. But this time, the right address will be set to recipe command register of the recipe that we are manipulating. Then within attributes, I will change the set style to object control command, object type to recipe, and the command will be delete all recipe records. I will then copy and paste this object and change the command to add a new recipe record. Lastly, we will also create a recipe view object, which can be found in the data slash history tab. I will change the recipe name to the one we are working on and change the header name as well. This will allow you to view changes that occur within your recipe databases in real time. Now, I'll test this project by using the offline simulation feature in the project tab. We will add and delete recipe records with our command buttons. The simulation feature also simulates a USB in the USB1 folder in the EV Pro installation directory. I will open the file explorer on my PC, go to this PC, OS, then EV Pro, and within this directory, I'll open the folder called USB1. Within the simulation, I can enter a file name, the extension .csv, and export the recipe. As you can see, the recipe will display in the file explorer 
as an example. We can also delete all records and import the original file using our command. Thank you for watching this quick tip from Wintech USA support. For more information on our products and software, check out our forum on wintechusa.com. Thank you.